So I'm making a major change to my business and I just want to talk about it. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name's Morgan. I own Dylan's Digital Marketing. We're an SEO company. We specialize in one niche. We have nine clients, all paying a premium price tag. It's going incredibly well. I only set up the agency this year. So in May time, struggled for quite a while. Found my way uh, through cold outbound. So cold calls, cold emails and cold DMs. And since then, it's just been plug and jug. Like I know how many cold calls it takes to get a client. And we've been able to just put the work in essentially and really just, you know, get clients on a consistent basis because I solved the equation. So I knew if I, I knew to get one client, I had to do, you know, this amount of inputs. And I was like, okay, if I do, if I do X amount of inputs, then I can get two clients, three clients, four clients. Then basically I just sold for four clients, even though I was working all day, every day. I was like, I need four clients a month because then I could scale it rapidly. And that's what happened. And I learned as a I learned as I went. So it's gone incredibly well considering I started this year. However, I'm making a major change to the business, like I said. So I'm moving away from cold outbound and I'm moving into, you know, marketing. So I read through Naval Ravikant's work and basically what I took away from it is he said there's more leverage in marketing compared to direct response. Direct response being cold calls, cold emails, cold DMs. Whereas if you put the same time into marketing, yeah, you'll gain higher leverage. So the problem with cold outbound is, you know, to gain someone's attention, to gain someone's trust, you have to over deliver, you have to put a lot of effort in, into each encounter. Whereas, for example, let's just skip back. Uh, for example, you have to offer, you know, free trials, discounted monthly retainers, you got to sell hard over the phone. However, if you put that same effort into marketing, building a brand, then not only can you charge more, but people come to you. And that's what I'm going to do. And it's hard for me because... You know, I spent a lot of time in cold outbound because I used to work in recruitment. I used to work in sales. So all day, every day, just cold calling, cold emailing, cold DMing. And I got good at it. So essentially, I'm leaving what works because I know this works for me to do something new because I'm not that great at content. Don't really have a clue what I'm doing. Um, and I'm just going to try and figure it out. But what it entails is posting content on my YouTube, posting content on my Instagram, posting content uh, via my blog, doing my email newsletter and just replacing the hours that i was doing cold outbound into making content and one thing that i think will pay off hopefully hopefully i could be wrong uh is that content is a compounding asset because the audience is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and you know it might take two three years before i get any inbound leads you know companies that want to work with me just solely off finding my content however it's a long-term game and what's quite comforting to know is that even if you know even if cold out, but even if um, the marketing isn't going well and I start to lose clients, I can always, you know, jump back in the cold outbound machine. So start cold calling, cold emailing, cold DMing because I have that skill set or so I believe um, because, you know, I've been okay over the last year or so uh, because I used to do it for my job. Now I do it for the business. So all day, every day I've been doing it. So I've been developing skills. I'm confident to get on the phone and I know that I can plug and jug. So whenever I need a client, I can, you know, hop back over here, do a bit of cold outbound and then get back to marketing. So it's quite comforting knowing that. But yeah, the whole goal is to build a brand that just compounds over time. So if you look at Gary Vee's media agency, I was saying this on the TikTok. If you look at Gary Vee's media agency, sorry, uh, the reason why they can charge high prices is because people bid to work with him because he's built this personal brand of being, you know, excellent at marketing for over the last two years. And that's really what I'm trying to do. Like, will I be on his level? Probably not. But if I could, you know, build a brand over 5, 10, 15, 20 years, uh, that'd be amazing for me because I'll never have to rely on cold outbound and I can charge higher. I'll have inbound leads. Uh, pe people will respect the brand more and that makes for easier clients. And yeah, I learned about a whole ton about leverage today through Naval Ravikant. So you have labor, you have capital, you have code, and then you have content. And I'm really just going after the content piece. Uh, I was going after the labor piece because I was thinking if I do enough cold outbound, then I'll be able to, you know, uh, be able to pay someone to do the cold outbound. And I'd have leverage through labor because I'll have somebody else working. They'd be putting their hours into helping my cause. Um, but I'm stepping away from that and going the content game because at the end of the day, I could have 100 cold callers all making 100 dials every day. But they're nothing compared to, you know, what Gary Vee's been able to do. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go through that route, trying to build impressions through every content source that I can over five, 10 years. And hopefully that'll work out. Um, and what this entails for my daily schedule 
is yeah moving away from cold outbound all day every day and just making a shit ton of content and i suck at content uh to be real uh not the greatest communicator you know i don't like getting in front of a camera however this year i've really battled that and yeah we'll see how it goes but wish me luck right